they were determined to be fired by the same firearm. And new testimony in the Brandon Crump murder case as evidence ties it to an earlier shooting incident in Youngstown. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Lindsay Watson. Jurors in the murder trial of Brandon Crump are getting closer to hearing closing arguments and deliberating. Yeah, today's testimony was about the suspected weapon which was fired and led to the death of four-year-old Rowan Sweeney. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shares the details. A day after jurors saw video from Brandon Crump's cell phone showing someone flashing a pistol said to be similar to the one prosecutors say was used to kill Rowan Sweeney and shoot four others, there was testimony today about another incident before the one in Struthers in September of 2020. 244 has shell casings. Four shell casings, correct? Four, yes. Mark Chrisman, a retired Youngstown Police crime lab technician, told the court about evidence he collected and bagged outside a home on East Ravenwood Avenue in August of that year, a month before the murder. That is one black glove that was right hand. Then came a series of ballistics experts from the Ohio BCI, the first telling jurors about the four casings found on Ravenwood. That they had matching breech face marks meaning that the four cartridge cases were all fired from the same firearm. Next, another expert who said the gun used at the homicide scene fired all dozen casings that were recovered there. And they're kind of like the firearm's fingerprint that'll put on the cartridge case during firing. But agent Kevin Kramer said when a national database showed a possible match, he compared the evidence found at both scenes. But those cartridge cases were also fired by the same firearm. So these are all fired, all these casings are fired by the same gun? Correct. Finally, another BCI witness, the fourth of the day, testified Crump's DNA was recovered at the Youngstown shooting scene, potentially placing him there as well. At this point, closing arguments could come either Wednesday or Thursday morning. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.